The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, uh, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good. Lewis, Billy Ray Valentine, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The first question that people ask me is, how can the market rally 900 handles after looking so bad yesterday? Folks, I posted the chart of the E-mini yesterday. I'm going to post it again today. All it is is AB equals CD and a little bit of Fibonacci. You can see the perfect A, B, C, D patterns. I've also posted today, I believe I have, just make sure that we can get it up here. Hold on one second and you'll be able to see it. Uh, give me a second, folks. I, I just did it and uh, unfortunately, the trading gods are sometimes sneaking away from me, but I do have this one. So here was what we're looking at. I'm just looking at it a day at a time because these folks were trading against these guys that have these numbers just like what we look at. Standard deviations, 200-day moving averages. Look at the high that we made here on last Friday, folks. You'll see that we made a perfect 61% retracement to the exact penny, folks, at 4466.50. And that was the high. Uh, we're trading about 30 handles under that right now. These numbers, folks, they're, they are everywhere in the market because the market is nothing but numbers. The fundamentals are the things that put out the fog on the stuff, but it's all related to numbers. I posted a chart yesterday that I thought was the most important chart that I have personally seen in a very, very long time. And I'll give, I want to do it again because it's that important to me, and I hope it's that important to you. This is the chart that came right out of uh, the London paper uh, last Sunday. Uh, basically was it was the betting line for the coming race and it was showing you how the odds were changing in relation to the price and volume of the money coming in and if that's not you know a pic picture of pattern recognition i don't know what is it's a b equals c d and it's all related to numbers and stuff and how much money moves around and that's all it is in the stock market too that's all i'm trying to do now there was another reason why we had a very very strong bounce off of the market uh last night and those of you that follow uh you know the, the 24 7 and stuff uh what we're doing is look at this folks this was uh, we talk about standard deviations and deviations from the mean but look at this folks this is the standard deviation on the on the nasdaq last night when exactly it rallied 400 points folks from that bottom now fortunately we've got some students out there one in particular mr bv down in dallas that post these things for us. And I wanted to show you what he posted this morning and also, hold on just a second, shut the front door and raise the rent. Oh, the F-16s are flying today, folks. Hold on one second here. They're uh, making a lot of noise up in here. And we'll get this up here. This is Billy's uh, chart that he has, looking at all the different things. And he circled the NASDAQ. And that's the same one that I posted, only I did it on a on the chart. You'll be able to see that it was the exact same number. And these people that are doing these algorithmic charts, these are the quants from uh, Andrew Lowe and also from uh, Jim Simons at Renaissance and D.E. Shaw, all those guys, the, the quants of Wall Street. I don't know if you know this, but Jeff Bezos, he actually worked for Jim Simmons at Renaissance. So uh, there's a pretty smart dudes out there using all we're doing is looking at them in context to what the market is doing and that's uh that's really the the bottom line and they're in all the markets let's just take a look here you'll see one here in the dax for just a second we'll get it up and you'll be able to see it without too much trouble uh, no guests today so if you have any questions it's 877-927-6648 be sure if you like joe dinapoli and most people do because he's he's been around a long time he's a really great stand-up guy and he's very funny and he tells it like it is he'll be our guest tomorrow for the whole hour 
I, I'm going to try to get him on an hour a month because his time evidently is pretty valuable. So he wants to keep it, you know, concise at, at one one setting as opposed to doing two a month or so. That's what I'm going to try to do to get him to do that. So let's uh, remind ourselves that uh, that's what we're watching when we listen to Joe tomorrow. He's really got some uh, fun. And he, he pulls no punches, folks. As those of you that know him, that, uh, you know, he's uh, he's pretty, uh, pretty right on the money of, of what he's uh, what he's trying to do. <clears throat> Jose, uh, we are also, uh, we have just been informed by our, our good friend down in Dallas that uh, we just made one standard deviation in the gold market up here at the 19, in the 1980s. And so that's a very interesting one. Uh, also, we had an interesting trade here in gold this morning. I'll get this up here because I have to change it just a little bit because I move the stop around when the markets are moving around quite a bit. Uh, this is the uh, this just a 15 minute chart in gold showing the ABCD pattern, and as you can see, we went right up to that uh, D point up there at set. We were selling at 74, it went to 77, it backed off about uh, 10 bucks from there, and of course, you know, we narrow our stop down quite a bit. Uh, even before this one here because it was moving so quickly because once you get an $800 profit in something and you've already made 800 you know and you and you're only risking you know eight dollars in it it's silly to risk the whole 16 in other words all the money that you made plus the money that you were originally going to risk that's a $1,600 swing versus an $800 swing so you want to try to get your stops down to break even just as soon as you possibly can so but those are just common sense, folks. I mean, I mean, you stop and think about the money that's moving. You, you, it's amount. Of, it's not how much money you make, folks. It's how much money you don't lose, and that's a that's a real key, real key factor to pay attention to as you're as you're going through some of these. So uh, I hope you keep that in mind because it's uh, it's important as we look at some of these things here. All I do know is that uh, I've got a a, a really interesting segment coming up uh, on the treasury bond market and uh, I woke up this morning and found out the whole world was looking what I was looking at so I'll share with you uh, what I was watching but uh, it's still not uh, still hasn't happened yet but I think we're getting close to it and I'll sh share that to you uh, when we come back uh, from the break because I, I think it's important to uh, remind ourselves that uh, you know we have to be prepared more more than most in these markets now because the volatility is so great i mean it's just absolutely used and that's one of the advantages of the patterns if you go down to a 15 minute chart or a half hour chart or even an hourly chart you can narrow your loss down to a very very small amount and that's the whole key you know eventually you're going to catch some of these big ones you know whether it's uh uh, crude oil, gasoline, you know, it doesn't make any difference. You'll catch some. There's just, uh, it's just a matter of, you know, keeping your chips close to your vest until you find one that lines up uh, really beautiful. I want to bring the uh, chart up here, the NASDAQ, and discuss it a little bit more when we come back from the break because it had so much information in it yesterday that I think that uh, it's worthy of a, a little bit of a look-see when we come back here from the break. So, Let's uh, remind ourselves, Al, if you'd be so kind enough to give me a heads up when the break comes up, because I don't have a clock to run off of this, and I don't want to have any dead time here. So if you'll be kind enough to do that, I would appreciate 877-927-66. Oh, thank you, Al. Very good. <laughs> You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, we're back, and I want to talk a little bit more about the NASDAQ. As you notice here, the market made its low uh, last night at that one standard deviation down there at 13,906, uh, and the uh, uh, it was within five points, folks, of the exact low. Anyway, if you'll take a look at this, you'll see that it was also making a 1.618 expansion of the whole range between the 24th of March and the 30th of March. So that was also adding to that. And if you'll also notice that the rally that we had uh, on Friday was an exact 382 of that range from the high that we made down to that low it was 38 percent back at 14,607. We then make the ABCD again down to 13,906, and uh, that was uh, that was pretty pretty accurate because the number came in at 13,908. That's two points. Uh, that's pretty accurate. And of course, we've had a 400 point rally off of that. The folks, we go below that low, folks, you don't want to be. That's lights out time because uh, if it breaks below one standard deviation, the only thing wait, standing in its way is the second standard deviation. And that's when the option players start to panic and they don't know which direction to go. Now, let's talk a little bit about what's going on in the Treasury bond market. I want, there was a real interesting chart that Tommy posted this morning. In fact, when I got up and I saw I was up really, really late today, folks, I overslept. i having a little bit of a jet lag, I guess, but uh, let me get this up here. He posted it, and it was posted by a whole bunch of other people. Uh, later this morning, people were sending me charts on it, you know, asking me what it was. And basically, basically well, this is a really long-term picture of interest rates going back uh, quite a ways. Uh, you notice that uh, 
the 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 part of the problem is see when you're looking at the treasury bonds folks they didn't try start trading as a commodity until 19 uh, january of 1976 i started in august of 76 at drexel so they were just uh, just started to trade bonds and they opened at six in the morning they closed at noon so that was perfect for for me and with, with my trading hours and stuff but uh all this is showing a logarithmic chart of this big spike that we have in interest rate. But there's something a whole lot more important than that. So let, let's go into that just a little bit. I, I think you'll have an interest in this. First of all, let's go back and see where we were just a few weeks. Oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. Hit the wrong button, cowboy. Hold on just a second here. Don't let an Italian be in, tro in control of a mouse. Okay, you'll notice here that we've had that one three five pattern of lower tops we talk about it a great deal and uh, when you see this you know that the market is heading to the downside and so uh, hold on folks my beeper is going off that means something good is happening in uh, ah there is what we wanted to hear yay hold on just a second that is a that's they're ringing the bell over at the board of trade Actually, it's a Merck anymore. It's no longer the Board of Trade. But uh, we just made a 382 retracement in the uh, Treasury bonds there, folks, at uh, 143.04. And that's important, and I'll show you why in, in just a moment. But I've got to get these charts up lined one at a one. Uh, the one that's up there now is the 135 and the weekly Treasury bonds. Uh, that was one tick. 0.5 was one tick off the 61% retracement of the high back in August. This is a weekly, by the way. You can see what's happened. We were down one, two, three, four, five, six out of seven weeks. Look at that number down there, folks, 1.618. That's where I think we're going to get to in the next couple of days. And that's where, uh, you know, we better take a look at that because I think it'll be something that uh, may be holding for a very, very, very long time. Now, hold on just one second here. I've got to bring, I've got these up in order so that you'll be able to see it. The next thing I wanted to bring to your attention is the open interest. Here again, I want to thank our good friend, Billy V. Um, about these pictures of this. Now, this happens to be the open interest of the, oh, oh, excuse me, of the open interest of the Treasury notes and the Treasury bonds. And as you can see here, as the market goes up and it, it starts rallying and open interest is dropping, that's a sign of market weakness when the market was rallying up there when it was at 159. Okay, now you can see what's happened since 159. We're down to 141. You know, that's a $17,000 hickey, folks, for people that were long, and that's uh, not a very cushy feeling if you're long. So um, this is why I think we're getting ready to see a huge um, short covering rally. And uh, you can see it in the Treasury notes and Treasury bonds. The market has now started to lose open interest as market goes down. That's a sign the market is actually weakening because shorts has have stopped pressing it to the downside so that's something that is necessary to have in order to have the the uh, short covering rally that may or may not be coming all i know is that when it does come it's going to scare the bejeebies out of everything now i know the etfs are, are important here i don't trade those i don't look at them very often but the one that looks really interesting and i'll bring this up to your to let you folks take a look at it and let me get up here. I just don't understand why that doesn't show up the way I want it to do. But uh, shucks, I just can't do anything more than that. Just give me up here to get to change the window. I uh, hope you can see the. this is the ETF for the, uh, the Treasury bonds. Uh, I think it's called the TLT, as I recall. Let's get it up here so we can see it clearly. This is the TLT weekly. You notice we've made the profit objectives down here on the weekly, folks. That's a giant ABCD pattern. The 382 came in, you know, way back in December of last year. We've completed this major pattern in here. So uh, get ready for a big short covering rally because I believe, and it might, you know, it could really surprise a lot of people. Why, I don't know. It could be a flight to quality, and maybe, you know, it's going to be the other side of the coin. It's just going to be a total meltdown, which that is also possible. So those are some of the things that you got to remind ourselves. I hear what I just posted for you. This is the TPT. Let me get it up here, that beeper that I was listening to. This next one that we are watching here is the... Uh, 
the TLT. <laughs> this is the TBT, and as you can, this is the bonds. So you notice that the bonds, this is the reverse of the bonds. In other words, this goes up, bonds goes down. And as you can see, that we've got that 382 coming in on the weekly, too. So this is some of the things that are uh, that are happening here. I uh, can, Al, can you tell me how I can see these charts as I'm talking about them? Because what it says here, it says cricket noise, closed stream. I don't know what that is. I, 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 there's so many buttons to click on here that I'm, I'm, I'm in a quagmire to find out which one to push. But uh, I'll just keep talking till I run out of words, which will probably be here for about 300 years. Hold on here. We'll get up here. Now, this is the next one I wanted to show you, folks. This is the uh, Treasury Notes on the weekly. Now, this the note contract, folks, is about uh, three times bigger than the um, – Treasury bonds, because this is where we get our credit cards and our auto loans, mortgages, all this comes off of this one right here. So that's uh, the main thing. And uh, we'll be seeing what's going to be happening with this here. So I hope this points out that the buy signal is not here yet. Uh, the first sign was that beeper that just went off just a few minutes ago. And I will find out whether that's going to be a, uh, a big deal or not. May or may not be. We just have to do you know, one thing at a time, and then we'll uh, we'll go from that level as we uh, as we see it unfold here. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the tiger's den trading room only at tfnn.com the tiger's den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the eight-minute Treasury bonds. I did this for my own uh, edification here because this is when I first met Mark Douglas in 1983. He was uh, trading bonds, and uh, he was in Chicago, as I was. I'd been there about a year when I first met him, and uh, he was just using uh, A, B equals CD. He, he realized that uh, I had talked about this pattern in the uh, and several of my books and stuff, and so that's how we got to meet. And I we discussed the pattern and all the things that I thought I knew about it, which I knew about a fraction of what I learned something every year about it. That's the main thing. But th basically, what he did was he would look at the ABCD patterns in the Treasury bonds. He would also use the opening price principle. If bonds were above the opening price with an ABCD, he would buy it. If they were below the ABCD, below the opening, he would sell it. And he kept it that simple. He only traded the first uh, three hours of the day between uh, 6 and 9 or 7 to 10. Later on when he moved out here to Tucson. But uh, that's really what he did. And uh, uh, he, he never expected to be right all the time. He, he was always worried about you know, how much money he had at risk. And that's the whole secret to what we're doing. It's not how much money you make. It's how much money you don't lose. And that's uh, the main thing. As a matter of fact, I've had what we call today a major frustration index day, folks. I had $1,100 profit in the gold. I let it get away to make virtually nothing. And then I had a $2,000 profit in the natural gas and let that get away to nothing. So that's how I did it today. So the I mean, not all, but I've, I had a pretty good day in the stock indices, but that doesn't mean anything. It's just that, you know, you're going to go through periods where you have some periods of frustration and you just got to move on and deal with it. So let's uh, move on to the next one. But if you want to learn an, a simple system, just go to a T-bond chart, do an eight-minute chart. If you don't like the T-bonds, go to the euro. The bonds are better because you get $31 per tick, whereas with the uh, with the euro, you're only getting 12.50. So it's three times more volatility for you to make some money. You could also lose some money, but you want to have the odds in your favor, and that's what the ABCD uh, will do for you. So. Uh, keep that uh, keep that in mind as we're going through this uh, thing here. Uh, remember, tomorrow we have a real special guest, Joe DiNapoli of, uh, of uh, what the heck they call this? I think it's called, I don't even know what they call it anymore. Well, he's, he's changed it a couple times over the year, but everybody knows who Joe DiNapoli is. So let's uh, remind ourselves that he'll be on tomorrow. He'll have the whole hour, too, folks. So let's keep that. And I forgot to post a chart of the German DAX. If you like ABCD, you're going to see some of the things that are in the German DAX. And well, that's equivalent to the S&P over in Europe, as you know. You can see the ABCD patterns that are popping up in here. You'll be able to see this is basically, you can see that's a one, three, five pattern right in here. We came down, look at the ABCs there, folks, how perfect they are. That was another reason why we started a rally in the uh, market was because we stopped right there at the 382 with an ABCD. Now, it's important, you know, because if, if we close badly today in the stock market, boy, that is, that's what they call, uh, you know, bad news, bad action, and you don't want to, you don't want to mess with that. So just uh, keep in mind that that's it. I and people, pe uh, hold on. People are skyping me and asking me questions. All I'm saying here in the Treasury bonds and Treasury notes is we're at a potential where we should have a major rally here, folks. You know, we're completing major patterns. Uh, on the weekly basis that are down near 1.618 expansions. I'll bring this up again to you to uh, allow you to uh, see what I'm watching here, but it's not uh, it's not anything that's not, uh, it's, that's, oh dear, just a second, I got the wrong one here. I think it's this one. Oh, uh -huh, that's not that one. Maybe it's the next one. Nope, it's not that one. We're gonna try one more time to see if we get it right. And now we got it right. Hold on one second here. Here's where we go. By the way, uh, if you get it, if you want to in, increase your probability of winning, folks, go to Basil's uh, webinar tomorrow. It's worth every penny. I mean, it really is. He's got some great information, as always. His opening call stuff is terrific. So if you get a chance to listen to Basil for seven hours, 
uh, that's a real treat. And he's very entertaining, plus the historical perspective of everything he knows is quite good. Uh, all, we're, all I'm looking at, folks, uh, remember, this is going back over two years, 2021 and 22. We're making a 1.618 expansion on the weekly low of 2021 in February to the high that we made back in August. That's a 1.618 expansion there at 139. We've been as low as 141. The high today was 143. That's nothing more than a little 382 bounce off of the last uh, two days trading range. Means absolutely nothing statistically. But watch that number. Should we get a move down to that 139 level? Uh, basically, it's 139.32, which is basically 140. So we'll call it 140. The low has been 141 and change. Is that enough? I don't think so, because that ABCD has been waiting there for such a long time. And I think we have to have one more little washout down to that 140. But, you know, who knows during these times what will happen. But that's what I'm looking at. And as I look at the others, we're very close on some of these. But uh, we'll see. I have no position in it. All I'm doing is pointing to your attention. It's a technical pattern that I see happening. And I can give you no more information than that because that's all I really know. That's a, that's the key to what we're paying attention to. Here, hold on one second here. I need to I need to pull up one other chart that is uh, really interesting here. Let me get this up here. And I just wanted to show you here's what happened today. Oh, this is when I look at this, I'm going to get ill, folks. So bear with me here. This is the uh, I sent the video out on this last night, but here is the picture of the natural gas that I was looking at. Uh, if you'll notice here, these double 1.618 expansions right up here, you see the two of them right there? Well, they, they were above that by about $6. So I said, the only way you can do this is if you move down to an hourly chart. So I did, and the market was making a beautiful retracement there at the uh, 680 level. Well, it went from 680 down to 620, back to where I, I sold it at 680. End up, you know, I, I had a $2,000 profit, and I didn't make anything in it. But I didn't lose anything, and that's that's an important fact, too. But when you stop and think of it, you know, there's a, uh, one of the factors of the four, the four fears, uh, leaving money on the table. Well, that's one of those fears. And, and, you know, it's not a fear. It's just a frustration. Now, how in the hell did I let that happen? You know why I let it happen? Because I thought that could be a move like we had way back here in February where the market dropped 20 grand here in just uh, uh, well, about $12,000 in two days. Or four days, and that's uh, I was thinking, ooh, wow, licking my chops. Well, I had my napkin on and I was able to get my chops cleaned up, but I didn't make any money. But that's okay, didn't lose any, so I'll move on to the next one and we'll see how that one works out. Several people have asked me uh, because there's a lot of uh, information on the internet and also on the, some of the channels like CNBC and Bloomberg about the collapse of the US dollar, folks. Uh, folks, I do not see any anything in these charts that makes me think that the darn thing is going to collapse. I, I, I just don't see that. It just doesn't appear that it's going to, uh, you know, be uh, it's in the it's in the run. I, it just doesn't look like it, you know. So I, I could be uh, could be 100 percent wrong, but we'll see. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. We'll be right back, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC. 
LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com and hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted a chart of the U.S. dollar index. Uh, as you can see here, we're far above the 61% retracement. We are getting close to the um, U.S. dollar index at the 78% level, which is 100 par 76. That's only 70-some pips from where we are right now. That may or may not be a top, but any people that are telling you that, that the demise of the U.S. dollar ought to take a look at this chart. Because this is over the past year, you know, this thing bottomed down there at 89. Now at one, we're up over 20 percent. So yeah, that could change really quickly. But uh, there doesn't seem to be looking at this chart. There's any changes going to happen, at least until we get up to the 78 percent level. If we focus on just a couple of other of these things that uh, that we look at, uh, these charts that uh, you know give us some idea of uh, what direction these things are going. I want you to take a look at one other one here and that just a second here because that's the euro uh, on the weekly basis. I put this in the newsletter uh, every week to show you the fact that these things are not always uh, uh, what they seem when they're talking to them about the uh, market uh, on the news and stuff like that because they talk about the, the soaring euro and the well not soaring but the rallying euro where the, where the person got this is a major major uh, what we call uh, mystery to me because I didn't see this at all. I mean, that's just, uh, you can see here, uh, hold on, let's get, get up here, take a look at it. Oh, that didn't work. Here we go. You can see here we've had lower tops all along in here, and we're heading down to this area here, folks, which is 106. Now, that'll be a pretty big double bottom, and that might be equivalent to what we're looking at in the U.S. dollar index. But right now, there's no indication at all. And I'm not even sure that this is going to be the one that people migrate to because, remember, the dollar index, 53% of it is in the euro. And, uh, you know, you just you can't build a, uh, a big financial system on these thing or uh, what do you call it? A, uh, a trading program just on one particular currency. You've got to wrap it around. Everybody talks about the billion dollars that uh, George Soros the made, uh, you know, many, many years ago. He did that by wrapping it around the the credit instruments of the Italian lira. 
And that's, uh, you know, this was a totally different than what was reported, but that's exactly what he did. And so those are a few of the things that uh, when you when you hear them in the news, you know, <laughs> it's like everything, folks. What they say and what they do are, are two different things. So remind ourselves of that, that that's, uh, that's part of the problem is that you got to separate the, the, you know, the old fly poop from the fly poop from the pepper because they look alike but their functions are a whole lot different. So remind ourselves of that as we look at this. I'm trying to find uh, the Australian dollar here, but I've uh, evidently I have lost it. Uh, thought for sure that I had it, but uh, it is not here. That's not it. Oh, shut the front door and ra I know it's here. I just don't see it right in front of me. And believe me, uh, it has to jump out up. I think this is it. Sure enough, right in front of me, if it had been a snake, it had bit me. Hold on just a second here. Get this up here. You'll see here's where we were. We had this big ABCD pattern. The market backed off uh, four days, and look, it snapped back really quickly from the 382 level. And maybe this is the one that's going to tell us. And this is related. It's, it's related to the commodities. You can see that 382 retracement right here with the big wide-ranging bar to the outside. We were down five days in a row. And then we turned around and uh, went up. And so those are a few of the things that we're looking at here today. Okay, question arises is how do I determine, you know, what my loss is on any of these things? Folks, I trade at point D. As long as I can trade point D between a $300 and a $500 uh, loss, I'm going to do that all day long because I know it's probabilities. They'll be on my side more than they're wrong. However, when you trade crude oil and when you trade gold, you've got to be a little bit more flexible because the crude oil, you know, it runs $1,000 a barrel and it swings. Look at it today, folks. It's up four or $5. That's a $5,000 move. That's 100 handles in the S&P. Well, last night, the S&P almost did 100 handles. We, we did 80 some handles last night, folks, up to that fib point up there at uh, 4466. So the close today is going to be very, very important because this is nothing more than a snapback rally right now. Unless we close above 4480, that would tell us, yes, it's got more legs to the upside. And then it looks like we're getting ready to form a, another uh, period of congestion or however it may last one or two days. I don't know. Regarding the news versus the, uh, you know, the thing that's going on in Russia, the big bulk of that stuff is probably done unless there's an outlier event like a flash uh, nuclear, one of those mini bombs that they talk about or some, uh, you know, bombing uh, Poland. And if they do, that's probably a mistake or trying to bring someone into the war that uh, just like they did with the United States and Japan, Japan bombed Pearl Harbor and that forced the United States into a war they didn't want to go into where we lost uh, a couple hundred thousand men over a period of four years and it changed our landscaping, not not the physical landscape. I don't know if you folks are not, do you know that we were attacked on our on our soil only once in a foreign war that was in World War II. It was in Santa Barbara, California. There was a, a restaurant there called the Timbers, and it was a restaurant that got a, a submarine came out of the water of the Pacific there and, and the Channel Islands and fired a, a couple of rounds and hit that it hit that restaurant, and uh, it was semi destroyed. But they rebuilt. Well, it couldn't be semi destroyed. They rebuilt it, but they rebuilt it, and they they renamed it the Timbers because. Uh, as it was burning, the guy decided, I'm bringing this back because that was the only time we've ever been fired upon, as, as I recall. But uh, that's, that was a big selling point for that restaurant. By the way, the food was terrible. That's why it didn't last very long. Okay, back to this S&P. Several ask a question. This is why it's important. Get it up here because I know the break's coming quickly. And uh, this is why you're going to get up here to take a look at it. There's the chart that we're looking at. You see we had the A, B, C, D to the downside. These are perfect, folks. That's A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. And all I did with this A, B, C, D, folks, it was this one right here, and I cloned it. I just moved it over because these were exactly equal. This where the market repeats itself over and over again. How can it do this and people not see this? A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. He's standing right behind me with his hand on my shoulder. God love you, Mark. Anyway, this is the key right here. If we get above this level right here, which is a 61 of this move, it's going to break this downtrend line. You see that downtrend line that people like to look at? And then it's going to go up. Could it break the downtrend line here? 
No, it could not. Why was that? Because this is nothing more than a one, three, five pattern. Why is it one, three, five? The distance between one and three is equal, and three and five is equal. It's also an equal swing up to the 61% retracement. This was a move up to the 382 retracement, and that's where you get this level right here. So the key here is today, folks, closing above 4470, very, very positive. Otherwise, this is nothing more than a DCB, dead cat bounce. So that's uh, reminding ourselves what we're looking at. So we're going to take a little break here, pay a few bills, 877-927-6648. Keep those cards and letters coming in, folks. We'll be right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Okay, folks, uh, someone asked the question is, why did I get so excited when the beeper was going off a little while ago? And folks, I keep those beepers on to tell me when price alerts are hit, to tell me these are the areas where I want to start paying attention. I posted that chart into you just a minute ago uh, on the uh, 
the U.S. dollar, uh, the excuse me, the Treasury bonds, and you'll see what that's going on. But I wanted to bring this to your attention too because I've been I follow these bonds intraday a lot because they trade so nicely and, and they're loaded with AB AB equals CD. But just take a look at this one, folks. This is a one over the last several days, uh, back the last ten days or so, in the Treasury bonds. But look at this here. Uh, I don't care whether you're rocket science is rocket science or not. Look at the look at the three eight two retracements on these puppies here. Look. I mean, you can't make this up. I mean, these are, and we just banged one right here just a little while ago. That's working already to the tune of a couple hundred bucks. So that's really all you're watching is watch these three eight twos. That'll get you to the promised land, you know. So I think it's important to pay a close attention to. You know, the the key the key chart today of all you uh, e mini S and P people is going to be this one right here. You just just have to take a look at it, and you'll be able to see which direction you're going to go just by looking at what the market's trying to tell you mathematically. Some big, some smart people are out there, folks, that know what these numbers are. But look, it misses it here, and then it goes back and gets it right at the opening to the exact penny, folks. The 61% retracement yesterday, or Friday. Look at that. It's right on the money. And so we're trading uh, somewhere in that ballpark where I don't know, but that's it. Tomorrow, we're going to have Mr. Joe DiNapoli. Uh, DiNapoli Levels is what it's called. It just dawned on me. That's what he called it. And uh, But Jim, uh, Jim, Joe will be our guest tomorrow. Always entertaining and, and very, very funny. A little eccentric at times, but we like eccentricity. Eccentricity is our middle name here at TFNN. So uh, anyway, that'll be our guest tomorrow. And be sure that you live every day in an attitude of gratitude. And may God bless. And try to help your neighbors the best you can, folks, because there's still a lot of people out there that are hurting, and they do need help. So we'll see you on the flip side tomorrow with Joe DiNapoli.